This is All Hallows Church. This thing is almost 1500 years old. One thing I love about a historical city like this, well, it's just the history. It's so amazing. Been walking around looking at sites all day. Now, lunchtime. This is a whole pressed Cornish crab. The meat from the legs and claws are soft to either side. It has creme fraiche on the side. I think the middle, it's a blend of the innards. And then red wine vinaigrette on the side as well. A squeeze of lemon juice all over the crab. I'm gonna dump a little bit of this on the plate just so I can taste it. And look at this. So you got the claw. Claw, you got the tender bits of meat. I just wanna try it with some of this stuff in the middle. Yeah, that stuff in the middle is definitely the best part of that crab. Wow, it's so creamy. And then mixed with that delightfully delicate and sweet crab meat, it just brings this umami hit to the crab. Dip it in some of this red wine sauce. Mm. Oh, that sauce just brings so much to the table. It hits you with that strong, acidic, spicy flavor. It's one of the best seafood things. This is so good. I mean, this is not even the main dish, but oh my goodness, this is delicious. I was trying some of the creme fraiche too, but everything here works so well with each other. Mm. Absolutely magical. This is one of the best crabs I've had anywhere. I mean, just the way they prepared it. Didn't throw any of that great stuff away. The sauces they paired it with works perfectly with the crab meat. I can eat like 10 more of these. Like, I wish I got another one. I really don't. So got roasted seafood. Everything is cooked in garlic butter, a little pesto. Just lobsters, phenomenal. Every piece comes out so easily. Super juicy and delicate. Scallops, jumbo tiger prawn. Wow, this is delicious. The scallop is just the sweetest thing, especially tip tap and some of that roasted tomato. Makes this freaking exquisite. Like every part of this, it's not some simple seafood dish with just some garlic butter. Like everything about this, from the fresh seafood to how tender and perfect it's all cooked, to the different flavor profiles. I mean, you can taste the fire, you can taste the smoke. Like every piece of the seafood, from the sweet lobster to the delicate scallops, every piece is just absolutely phenomenal. You know, this giant tiger farm. Mm. Yeah, this is definitely one of the best seafood restaurants I think I've ever been to. It's just so good. Like everything is just so good. Probably the worst customer service I've ever experienced in my life. A lot of super rude people here. But the food is amazing. I'll deal with the bad service. Everything is just too freaking good. Too freaking good. I definitely recommend the whole dress crap. I had to get a second one. That's how good it is. So after seafood at Black Lock, for my second attempt at the Sunday roast. So here is by person. I don't know if uh, steaks are just cheaper here in the Europe, but you can get a 55 day dry aged steak for about 12 pounds. I just saw some of the steaks, they look amazing. Anyway, these are some pre-chopped bites and they recommend eating it from here to here. Chicken and horseradish. Mm. Mind blown. This looks so unassuming. When this is brought to the table, I'm like, all right. What are these like cheese and crackers, whatever? Wow. First of all, the chicken. Oh, it's tender. Of course, radish just start biting me everywhere, along with a slight sweetness from the beets and the crunchy cracker. Egg and anchovies with a little onion on top. 
salty briny anchovies, creamy egg. With a hit of acid from the onions. Again, two different crunch, one from the onions, one from the crackers. This is the cheese and pickle. Blue cheese, pickle, cucumbers, carrots, some peppers. This whole thing, from here to here, it's like you get a you get a shock in your mouth. Delicious anchovy and eggs kind of calms it down a little bit. And then another vinegary hit from the pickles, offset by that delicious blue cheese. This is amazing. If this is what my food's gonna be like today, this is gonna be really, really exciting. I wanna order a steak too because I saw the steak. It looks so good. 12 pounds for a 55 dry egg steak? Ah. Oh. We'll see how much food I actually got. Here it is the roast. Oh, that smells so good. Pork chops, pork belly on top, lamb chops, cuts of beef layered high on a plate. There's also different sides. For example, a beef stripped chip. So this is cooked in beef drippings. Listen to how crunchy this is. And check out the meat. Giant pork belly. Two massive pork chops. Here's the lamb chop. Oh my goodness, look at a nice layer of fat on the lamb chop. A few cuts of that, and then the beef on the bottom. Oh my goodness. Let's just start with a pork chop and a pork belly. I am so excited for this. Giant pieces of pork belly, so amazingly charred. And there's a couple sauces that came with it. Let me just taste this on its own. Wow, that is good. First of all, look how charred the fatty parts of this pork belly is. I mean, this thing is fatty, it's juicy. What a great first bite. Mm. Mm. Get a bite of this pork chop. Pork chop is also, look at that nice char. It almost looks a little burnt. I like it like this. Mm. Add some gravy on there. The pork chop is smoky, it's tender. Mm. Chase it with the chips. That's just so freaking good. Lamb chops. Oh, here we go. I got a good feeling about this. Oh, this is amazingly, amazingly tender. Oh, this is cooked perfectly. Look how juicy this thing is. Utter perfection. Juice oozes out every single time. This is one of the juiciest lamb chops in the land. I mean, everything about it, the amount of fat that's on this, the level of tenderness, the level of the char, the juiciness of the lamb chop. Mm. Once you start biting into this, you won't be able to stop it. Until the bone is clean. That's about as perfect as a piece of lamb chop as you can get. Piece of the beef. Again, look at this, perfectly cut. Mm. Steak here is so good. Tender, smoky, and oh so juicy. Look at this, guys. This is not a side dish. This is one of the sauces they bring you. A garlic bone marrow to put on top of your meat. Holy moly, yes. Please. Put the bone marrow on there. Oh, this place is so good. I mean, no wonder it's just packed. You came in here right before it closed, packed. And I can see why. This is such a great place. Every single bite of meat is cooked perfectly. And bone marrow as a sauce? Yes, please. Mm. And check this out. This is called barbecue baby jams with anchovy dripping. So I guess the, the, the greens are the baby jams. Wow. Yeah, you taste the anchovies very, very well. It's slightly bitter, it's briny, it's seafoody. It's just the best way to eat your vegetables. Very, very impressed with this place. Everything from the side dishes to the pre chop bites to the meat to the sauces, this place definitely knows what they're doing. Oh, also, I think there's garlic bread on the bottom. Mmm sitting on the bottom of the meats were so all the meat juices it's soaked up in this bread wow what an amazing place let me get to finishing this before it gets cold I'll be right back feather shuffle gourmet focaccia sandwich 
Oh, there's truffle ham, nutty ham, the great beauty, hot salami. Oh, this is a piping hot sandwich. So apparently they get their dough from Italy and it takes 16 hours to ferment. Ooh. It's a giant focaccia sandwich with Italian roasted cured ham, truffle cream, and taleggio cheese. This bread looks absolutely scrumptious and perfect, and it's giant. A couple of thin slices of ham in here. Such an airy looking bread. And as soon as they handed the bag to me, you know you're smelling something special. This is an amazing sandwich. You sliced a perfect bread and the deliciously delicate ham. The cheese is mild, a little fruity, and the truffle cream, it's just outrageous. Mm. I mean, this bread, absolutely toasty on the outside. So soft and airy, you can taste the fermentation. A little slight sourness. I absolutely love the heck out of this. All right, eat and walk, eat and walk. This is really cool. There's food, snacks, groceries, places to sit, meat. Final meal of the day. I haven't really tried a ramen shop in London yet, but I'm wanting to. This place looks really good. Hakata Ramen. 12 hours stewed tonkatsu broth. And ramen in general here is really affordable. 11 pounds for a bowl of ramen. Spicy edamame. Edamame with a sweet and spicy sauce on the outside. This is a beautiful bowl of ramen. It's mean, so pretty. First of all, the eggs they have here in the UK is gorgeous. The yolk is like a golden sunset. Pickled ginger on top, a couple big pieces of chashu, and this is the broth. It looks way creamier than typical. Oh, wow. Look how silky smooth that is. Definitely looks way paler than any other tonkatsu broth I've seen before. Oh, that smells porky. Mm. That's good. That is so creamy. I feel like they added some cream in this. Mm. This is a delicious sip of broth. Velvety smooth. I just want to keep that on the tip of my tongue and it leaves us such a creamy, soaky aftertaste. Two giant pieces of chashu. Thin, straight noodles. Again, the eggs just look mesmerizing. Mm. Oh, that is creamy. That is so good. The noodles are nice and chewy. Chashu is okay. A little lean for my taste. I feel like it needs a little bit more flavor. Overall, pretty good. This ramen is definitely hitting the spot for me. It's actually a lot of great ramen places I found in London. I wanted to do like a whole ramen tour of London. Just really, I don't really have the time for it. This has been such a fun trip so far. Today especially, I think that seafood restaurant might be one of the best or the best seafood restaurant I've been to in a long, long time. I mean, the flavors are extraordinary. Especially the crab and oh, the roasted shellfish. I'm still thinking about it. Then a great Sunday roast, not on a Sunday. A delicious sandwich on freshly baked bread. And finally, end the day with something comforting and familiar. I was actually trying to have dinner um, over around Chinatown again, but Friday night at Chinatown. It's like walking around in Times Square in New York. Like every shop was packed. So now, finish my ramen, go to bed tomorrow, bright and early, heading to Paris. And it's always all the place I went to listed down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching until we eat again. See you later.